Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Last time, Aiko had something stolen from her. It was the lady with the giant axe. Amaranth decided, nope, we're not having any of that crap and saved her, only to turn around and fight Zidane for reasons. But now he's in our party for reasons. And with that, we have our main party situated. So, under most circumstances for the rest of the game, this will be our party. Given the fact that this game does not do the everybody levels up thing, you're better off going with this main party, even if it's not always advantageous, given that certain characters might be better for certain situations than others. Because levels are important. But anyway, Kuja's supposed to be here, so let's go and meet him. There's still a little mist, but there's at least no more coming out. That must mean he's not here yet. What happened to the mist? We beat the monster that breathes it. So much for the mist continent. No more mist? They must possess incredible powers to accomplish such feat. Sit down. There's a silver dragon. That's him. He flew from the ruins riding a silver dragon. That's him, all right. And he's riding that dragon. Oh, how I've longed for this day. The day I may finally cast away this mask to reveal my true self. Now it no longer matters if the Eva tree is liberated. It means nothing to me. <laughs> the tree is so beautiful. Its beauty becomes the great mother tree that lives among the stars. Silver dragon. Let us watch the drama unfold from the trunk of Eva. No one shall interrupt us there. Let's go. Well, let's freaking go. So again, random encounters is nice for this sort of thing. Because you never know what nasty tricks Kuja is going to have up his sleeve. Speaking of which, um... Putting Insomniac on. Hmm. Let's dump that one. Amaranth's just gonna have to hoof it, he's new, so. Oh well. But yes, you can see what I'm trying to guard against and what these guys are good at, so. Alright. We'll pass the trunk if we go any further. Kuja went down that trunk. Say, is it on? How are we gonna get up there? Can't we climb there? Not me! Uh, me neither. I don't think I can either. Mm -hmm. Well, we came all this way, now what? What's the problem? You should just go by yourself. We gotta face him together. How'd this wimp end up beating me? Look, where, look, watch where you're walking! He who hesitates 
is lost. You'd best remember that. Well, I prefer my way or the highway. Whatever, like you actually have a plan? Oh yeah, Mr. Smarty Pants? You're the one who lost to him. Shut up. Plan, huh? That's right. You owe me one, remember? It's payback time. Okay. There's some gargant grass down there. So our gargant can't be far. I want you to catch one. Then we can all ride it to the top. Why should I do all that when I could just take the kids up myself? Huh? How do you ever let this dimwit beat me? Come on! Alright, Dagger. I'll just carry you on piggyback. Ah! Hey, we just did- The weak lose their freedom to the strong. Such is the way of the strong, and it is the providence of nature that, the on that only the strong shall survive. That is why I needed strength. I learned of powers that would daunt even him over ten years ago. That's <laughs> such a long time. And now my forces are ready to strike. <sighs> Ah, the suspense is terrible. I know. So they've come this far, have they? Perfect. I'll warm up with them until Elephant Lady shows up. Uh, thanks. They were even. Show me what you guys can do. There he is! Well... Kuja, maker of black mages. An enemy of Zidane is an enemy of mine. Okay, let's go. You are Kuja, correct? My name is... Princess Garnet to Alexandros. I wish to ask you something. Was it really you that persuaded... that threw... that war? That threw the entire missed continent into chaos? And you made everyone, the Black Mages, into instruments of war? Oh, dear. The princess is such a bloodthirsty little puppet. I don't have the power to do such a thing. I just gave them a little recipe. Begin with froth of mist. Add fermented souls and boil. Then pour genuine black magic into a mixing bowl and heat to... Stop it! I'm not done telling you how to make soulless toys out of the dregs of soul. Tricks of souls? You mean mist? First you don't want to listen, and now you're asking questions? <sighs> brother. But you're not ready yet. Why, you? Don't you feel anything? Taking the lives of so many? Spare me the lecture. Lives come and go all the time. What's the big deal? Speaking of warmongers, why, what about that mother of yours, princess? She said she won't feel alive until she has everything. It breaks my heart to see such greed. The war was my fault, you say? No, no. Your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. Liar! My mother was sweet and kind, and you changed her! Did I now? <laughs> oh... The curtain rises. My little canary. 
Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act, the end of the ugly desire. It's showtime. God, I love playing villains so much. Because it doesn't really matter. Like, I want to play them so... Panache. Because he's different from Kefka. He doesn't have the same goofy exterior. He's very effeminate, but still foreboding. Kefka is just nuts. <laughs> Kuja. So you finally decided to show your girly face here? You're all that stands between me and total domination. <laughs> but I haven't forgotten all that you've done for me. In return, I shall show you ultimate power. Attention! All hands! Order the black mages to focus all their magic energies into a single spell. Lay suppressing fire upon Kuja until the casting is finished. Fire at will! Orders from Her Majesty. Black Mages, focus all of your energies on a single spell. Mother, I can't believe it. Your mother isn't satisfied with just one continent. Her ugliness and stupidity are truly impressive. <sighs> Let's see. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. What are you talking about? You're just the opening number. Time for the real show. We won't let you get away. <laughs> the mist may be created no more, but it still looks in caves and forests, right? I can make monsters with magic. Come forth, spawn of the mist. So here is who you're fighting all day. These lovely fucking guys. So let's stab them. Mr. Dons, huh? Hey, you did not last long. <laughs> I had to turn away from my microphone to focus, and I'm like, what focusing did I need to do? At least it gave me some experience out of it. <sighs> so two of your enemies are duking it out, huh? Why not just leave them and finish off the winner? My money's on Kuja. <laughs> Foolish brawn. Your prized cannons are useless against the spawns of mist. <laughs> but even a fool like you know there's only one path you can take, right? Stupid elephant lady. Why do you hesitate? Very well. I shall make you this move. I'll give you a clean target, so you can't miss. Descend! Amorant's right. We gotta split before we're dragged in. No, I can't. I can't let anything happen to my mother. Dagger? Sedan, I... I have to save her. She has extracted Adelons from you and started a war. I still don't want her to die. But she didn't care about you one bit whether you lived or died. You don't have to call her the mother anymore. She's my only mother. I don't care if you don't understand. 
Baker, you said there was an Adolin in prison here, correct? Uh, yeah. Please, tell me where. It's a long way down. You see a lot of place with lots of roots? There you go. There, I see it. Dagger, don't go alone! Damn! And now Aiko's in the party. Oh well. But it's just one. Fear, 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 get fucked. Barely hurt me. Ow! Shit, Zadon can one shot these guys. Nearly much. Okay, so. <laughs> well, this is turning into quite a show. Anyone can get emotional at a time like this. Give me a break! Zidon! Zidon! <laughs> Let's go! Bangers in danger by herself! Yeah. Let's go! So now you just gotta run and hope you don't get stuck. Ah! Gimme, 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 I'm gonna get you! Ah, crap, there's two of them? Fucking hell. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. If you're lucky, you only have to fight one of them. Because they are chasing after you. If you stop, they are catching you. God damn it! Ugh. Such boo. Well, there's only one. Aiko needs a heal. Shouldn't be too bad. Between Amaret and Zidane, they're probably done. So this isn't too bad. Ah! You suck! That's what you get, meanie. Alright! I'll deal with that later. Let's go! Man, I was that close. I sense the Eglon's power. Now I can save my mother. Please help me. This one? Dare, what's wrong? No, I have it, but it's. I don't believe it. It's the legendary sea serpent Leviathan! And Adolin wipes out enemies with a huge tidal wave. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault, but my mother's still in danger. Well, those guys seen better days. Isn't Her Majesty ready yet? All remaining ammunition was spent in the last wave. 
The next wave will chew us up. That is not our decision. Get back to your post, soldier. Your Majesty, Black Mages have completed their preparations. That impudent whelp! Now I can finish him off. Come! Draconic seedling! Bahamut, King of Dragons! Oh no. Yeah! I swear, every single game, they make him more and more impressive. And Kuja's just like, give me your best shot. The balls on this guy. No wonder he wears a cod piece. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I proved the stories, but I never thought summon magic could be so powerful. If Zidane is after that power, I better watch out. And now we can win, and Mother won't have to die. Ego, don't. What? What's wrong? Mog. She's terrified. How come? Don't you know? That's Bahamut. The Dragon King, he'll win for sure. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Power. Nobility. You're truly the best. You even hurt me. A little. And you, Bron. Your tragic tale in this drama now comes to an end. I'm sure you will enjoy the second act from your soul's salish prison. Since the stage shall be your former home. The final act will take us away from Gaia, where I will kill my nemesis with my own hand. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. Looks it is. Oh, that. Oh. Ooh, I wonder what will happen. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, she's boned. <laughs> what a show. I don't know why Bahamut attacked the one that summoned him. We found Braun on the beach next to her escape pod. She could barely move. And I thought she'd come to a stop at any second. I hated Kuja a lot, but I hated Braun too. So much that I wanted this to happen to her. I should be happy, but once I saw Dagger started to cry, I didn't know what to feel. 
I kind of wanted to cry too. I can hear my daughter's voice. Yes, mother, I'm here. Right here. I... I am empty now. Free. Free from that terrible greed. Mother. I... I haven't felt this way since I saw that play with you and your father. I led Alexandria down the path of ruin. The people will be happier with you on the throne. We went back to Alexandria on Queen Bronze escape pod. And we also brought Dagger's mother with us. This way, princess. Steiner. Beatrix. How horrible her life had to end this way. I, I still can't believe that does all happened. Princess, it was my- No, it was my fault! Thank you. Both of you. I must now carry the burden of ruling Alexandria alone. Will both of you please help me during this? My time of need? Yes! Certainly. Thank you. Princess, here is a wreath of roses, your mother's favorite. The townspeople sent it as an offering for the queen's grave. True, Queen Bronn had been acting quite erratic. But the people are still very fond of her, as you can see. Mother, I shall become a great queen. Princess, we have arrived at the castle. She won't be a princess for much longer, Dr. Tot. <laughs> Indeed. I shall have to call you Queen Garnet of the Coronation. I must make preparations for the crowning of our new queen. And my eyes are watering, sorry. General Beatrix, Master Steiner, will you help her? Princess, please watch our step. Dr. Todd. Princess, I know how hard this must be, but I will be by your side. Please take the throne with full confidence.
three more days until the crowning of a new queen. <sighs> what a day. We ain't seen each other in ages. Why the sourpuss, partner? What, what happened? <laughs> Maybe that dagger chick dumped him. Bingo. This ain't like you at all. Hey, Ruby. Heard you started a theater. That's right, darling. My plays are hit. Cool. Let's go watch. Huh? Yeah. All right, cowboys. Zidane, you ain't coming, are you? That's all right. Come on over whenever you want. Let's go, boys! <laughs> this way! Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, hey, Vivi. Hello. I haven't seen you since you left the castle. How are you? Well, a lot of things happened, but I'm doing fine. How about you? What have you been doing since you left the castle? Eh, uh, let's see. It's been pretty crazy since you guys escaped. Rusty, the rat chick, Freya, and... Um, what's her face? The girl general? Beatrix. Oh yeah, three of them got totally worked. Marcus and I had to carry them out in our backs. Marcus! We gotta get going before Ruby gets mad at us again. Oh yeah. She hates it when we're late. Sorry, Vivi, I'll talk to you later. Ah, but this too is done and done and dusted. We're on to disc three, and I will take this opportunity to call it a day. See you guys next time.